Okay, guys, I hope everyone is doing well um, and staying safe. I wanted to give you sort of an idea on how to record a presentation for your final research project. I know since we're not presenting in class, it's a little different and weirder, and you may not be familiar with sort of how to go about um, recording a presentation for your final project, so I wanted to sort of go over that here um, in this presentation. So for your final presentation, um, we're really looking for you to record a PowerPoint. So just like I do sort of every week um, here with um, the small sort of lectures that I'm doing, you'll be presenting um, information on your artists or your themes, um, sort of whatever you chose for your final project. So giving sort of your fellow students an idea of what your thesis statement is, sort of what you're focusing on, giving images um, that they can look at, etc. So we were kind of like working with presentations and you guys were doing sort of um, informal presentations. So this is a more formal one, uh, which is around 10 to 15 minutes um, for this presentation time. So I want you to have your thesis included. Um, it would be great as sort of on the strength of your content and your research and analysis, using appropriate images and having them captioned, as well as sort of the overall quality of your presentation, how prepared you are, um, if you met the time limit, if it's organized, if you were um, clear and enunciated, enthusiastic, dynamic, um, etc. I would also like you to mention sort of the connection with your own work and include images of your own work as well, just to give your fellow students sort of an idea of what um, they you are comparing your work to, um, as well as for me as well, right? <laughs> uh, so this is sort of where I wanted to break down and make sure we have an idea of when these things are going to be due. So on the Canvas page, as well as here, I've given sort of an overview of what I am thinking for the due date. So the presentation being due Friday, May 1st at midnight, and the paper being due Friday, May 7th at midnight. Or sorry, this, this is Thursday. Um, so um, this is sort of what I'm thinking. I've sort of extended the due dates a little bit, um, but really the rest of the semester is us focusing down on these um, research papers and presentations. Um, I don't really want your minds to be on anything else. Uh, we only really have two weeks left, so really I want us to focus in on this and give you guys sort of ample time to work on this project, as well as being able to communicate with me if you have questions or concerns, or if you want me to write um, or um, look at an overview of a draft for you and give you an idea of where you're going um, because maybe you're struggling with something. So I really want us to have those two weeks to really invest our time in these presentations and papers. So on Canvas, as well as in this presentation, I've outlined kind of the next two weeks after sort of your final week here. Um, so Monday, April 27th and 29th, we are working on presentations. So you will not have any other assignments. And these will be due Friday, May 1st at midnight. And then um, the 4th and the 6th, we'll be working on the paper with the papers due Thursday, May 7th. Um, I'm hoping to have us be able to watch um, each other's presentations. So as long as I'm able to get them in sort of a timely manner and upload them, I hope that everybody will be able to um, do this assignment. So I'm looking for us to have each individual person watch two presentations from fellow students that week. And um, then you'll be turning in feedback to me, which will be then given to the presenter anonymously. So nothing that you say will be revealed to them um, and who said it, um, if you want to be sort of highly critical or whatever. But I just want us to sort of see what the other students are doing as well um, in their work, right? Because if we were in class, everyone would get to see everyone's, which would have been fun and exciting. Um, but I want you to at least be able to see two of them. So how to record a presentation. Um, I'm hoping that you guys have had some um, interaction with this previously, but you may not have. So. First of all, make your presentation in PowerPoint or Google Slide like you usually would. You can record with that source. There are plenty of um, different websites and um, sources that can sort of run you through how to do that. Um, other alternatives are for you to create a Google Slide or PowerPoint presentation and then to record with an alternative screen record device. So I use Screencast-O-Matic. That's my sort of choice of um, uh, recording system. I don't really know what to call it, um, but it basically just records my screen and you don't see my face or anything. So I'll take you to this website here. 
So this is the website. It's completely free um, and you can download it and use it and it just uh, captures your screen. And I know you can't see, but sort of within the block that I'm able to use and record within, um, you just record your presentation. It's really easy to use, um, really user friendly. Uh, I pay for it. Um, it's super cheap, but you do not have to do that. Record for free. It'll just like, um, put a watermark on your presentation that'll say like using Screencast-O-Matic. So, um, be careful cause it goes down in this like left corner and will obscure things. Um, but otherwise it's really not that big of a deal cause I just want you to turn in your presentation to me anyway, the physical, um, PowerPoint file. And so it won't be that big of a deal. So this is super easy to use and straightforward. Um, otherwise, as I said in your presentation here, I'm going to change this. You can use QuickTime recording, which is on a Mac if you have a Mac, um, and that's a YouTube video on how to do that. You can also just record with your phone or your camera or ask someone else to record for you. It doesn't really matter to me how you record it as long as I can see you, as long as I can hear you um, and see your PowerPoint and I'm getting the ideas across. So let me know if you have questions about this. Um, Screencast-O-Matic is really my recommendation, but um, using Google Slides or PowerPoint is really easy too, so that's really up to you and how you want to do that. So email me with any questions or concerns as you move forward. I will keep emailing you and keeping you up to date with what's going on and hopefully um, you're not feeling too overwhelmed. I will be looking through your proposals very, very soon um, and finishing that up so that you will have my feedback on them so you feel like you can sort of move forward. Um, email me with questions otherwise and I will talk to you guys soon.